Hello everyone, this is Robin with MyPinkStamper.com and I have a quick video for you guys today showcasing the Star of Light stamp set that's in the new holiday catalog and then the Star Light framelits and thinlets that coordinate with it. So this bundle is from the new holiday catalog that is available now and it's on page, if you have a catalog near ya, what page is it on? I should have had it on there. It's on page nine. This is a really huge stamp set. You get a lot of sentiments and stamps and it actually shows you which one fits with the big star and then the little ones it has, it has like a gray around it so you know which ones coordinate with the thinlets or the framelits. I think they're called thinlets on this one. Okay, now I had a live earlier, um, a Facebook live and I showcased this project but my video did not save, so I have to redo it. But I was telling everybody that when you look in the catalog and you look at this page, I first saw it and I thought, these are really, really super cute, adorable cards. But for some reason, I didn't like some of the colors. And so I kind of was like, oh, I don't know if I like this stamp set. And then I played with it with different colors and I love it. And this, I have a class going on right now. If you're watching this, the third week of September, I have my Star of Light online class. You can contact me at mypinkstamper at gmail.com if you'd like to know more about it. If you're watching this later, I'm sure that class is gone. They're only open for about three to five days before they um, I move on to the next class. Okay, so we will go ahead and get started. The very first thing we're going to do, let me set this aside. I'm using the Knight of Navy ink pad. So only one color for this whole um, project, for this whole card. This is one that you could whip out and make for Christmas cards. It's a really easy one. Like I said, you only need one ink pad and then you need a couple um, different kinds of paper and then you can do this. I'm also using the silver. Oh, I love this silver. This is my favorite, favorite silver ribbon that we have. Okay, so this is the score, Simply Scored. And what I'm going to do with it is score my white cardstock. So this is the Stampin' Up! Whisper White thick cardstock and I have it cut at five and a half by eight and a half. So it's just a half sheet of cardstock. And I'm gonna put it up here and I have it set right here, my little notch. I have it set at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to pull it toward me. And that's great to do when you're working with really thick cardstock. And I also had a question on how to get rid of that lump. Sometimes you get the little lumpy lumps, you know, in the really thick cardstock. And so what I do is I just fold it over lightly like this, and then I put it, I start in the center and I kind of softly but firmly, if that makes sense, push it out. And I love the Stampin' Up! Bone Folder. Really nice quality and gives you the tight crease, and I didn't have any bumps on this one. So it might be the tool that you're using, using, and that might be the reason why you're getting the bumps still. Okay, so I'm also using, this is Knight of Navy cardstock, and it's cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm using the Lucky Stars embossing folder. So I'm gonna stick this in here and I'm gonna pull out my Big Shot. So I love the Stampin' Up! Big Shot, I'm hooked. I've been using it solely for, what, 15 months now? Straight, I haven't used anything else with the Big Shot and I'm in love with it. I'm so happy for this purchase, one of the best purchases I've made. Okay, so we're going to use the multi-purpose platform that it comes with. Oops, doo -doo -doo -doo. Mine's really dirty. There is a new multi-purpose platform that comes with the new Big Shot. As of June, you get the new one and it doesn't open up anymore. It just, the piece comes off and I have it up there. I just didn't pull it down. Okay, I'm gonna put one of the sandwich plates down and then the other one on top of it. And just run it through. And then that's it for that one. And we're gonna go ahead and while I have my Big Shot out, we will go ahead and use the framelits as well. Okay, I wanna show you this really quick for those of you who are new to embossing. So this gives me, I don't know if we can see it very well. There we go. Do you see how that's embossed? And it looks really good in person. And it has a little bit of sparkles on it because there's sparkles everywhere in my office right now. I was making, I was making one of my class projects and it had gl the glimmer paper. It was just everywhere. Okay, so now I'm using, I have the magnetic platform. 
but I'm using the precision base plate on top and you can use that also on top of the multi-purpose platform. This is excellent if you're using, if you wanna do anything that is like very intricate. And if you purchase a Big Shot from me on my website, mypinkstamper.stampinup.com, I will send you a free precision base plate in the mail. That's the promotion that I have going on right now until further notice, I'm doing it until you guys don't want me to do it anymore. Um, and that's about, with tax and shipping, it's around a $30 value. So I'm just, I think everybody should have it. So if you order it from me, that's one of the benefits you get. Okay, so we're gonna use this little star here. And I'm gonna put it on this silver glimmer paper directly on the precision base plate. I'm gonna put the top on here. And now I'm gonna go forward and I'm gonna go back because it is a little bit intricate. And I'm going to use our Big Shot brush tool with the foam pad and just lightly kind of just, whoops, that on there and then it'll just pop right off. It will just pop right off, I promise. Maybe not with my nails. Okay. It normally pops off, but of course there it goes. <laughs> of course, because I'm doing a video, it's not. There you go. Okay, so we have our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, snowflake. Put that right there. And now I'm going to use, I'm gonna show you the difference. So these are all of the dies that come with this set. And there's just a lot of fun ones. This one right here obviously is to use with the stamped image. And then, where's the other one? It's in my hand. Okay, this one right here, you kind of wonder, does it do a lot of dots? What does it do? So I'm gonna show you what this one does. It's actually pretty cool. And I'm using, I used the silver glimmer a second ago. Now I'm using the silver foil sheet. Putting this in here. And I'm just gonna run this through. You can do it forward and back, but you don't really have to on this one if you don't want to. Okay, let me set everything aside really quick. Okay, that's all that we need the big shot for. Okay, now I am ready. I'm gonna pop that out. Now I don't recommend using the brush tool with this one, just because if you do, you might get some pokies on, well, if you're using the, the foil paper, you might get some little pokies on there. But you guys see that? So I made this awesome design on my paper. So what we're going to do right away is we will just take the glimmer paper, make sure all of these little things are punched out. There was one left. I got it. Okay, we're gonna use this, and I'm using the glue dots. And I'm just going to put one right in the middle, even though there's a, a hole in the center, it's okay. We're gonna cover that up. So there we go. Isn't that really beautiful? Look at that, it's just gorgeous. You guys can do this, it's super easy to do. Anybody can do it, I promise. If you have any questions, you can always email me anytime at mypinkstamper at gmail.com. I'm here to help you. I love to help my customers. I'm very good at getting back with you whenever you have a question. Okay, so I'm going to take the bone folder and just Use that to put my, I have a cute little rhinestone on there, right in the center. And I'm gonna set that aside. And now, let's start putting everything else together. So let's, where's my little piece of paper? Okay, so we're going to stamp next. I'll be right back. I have my four inch by one and a quarter piece of regular Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna open my Knight of Navy ink pad. These are the newer ink pads with the foam top. I absolutely love them. They store upside down, so they're always nice and inky and juicy when you open, open them. And I'm gonna stamp the sentiment here. Let me see if how, how well I do. And it says, okay, I did a little bit crooked. I don't want it that crooked. Sometimes it's okay to have it a little crooked. I just didn't want it that crooked. Okay. Perfect. The light the shepherds saw that night that lit the way for them still guides the hearts of all who seek the child of Bethlehem. So this is a really good Christmas stamp set. If you don't want to use a sentiment like that, there's a Merry Christmas in there. There's 
star sayings. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn this upside down. Use some adhesive. This is the snail adhesive. It's off my table. And I'm just going to put it on here. I want to leave a little bit of the navy showing on the bottom. And now I'm going to, wait, I didn't know why I turned it over. I'm going to use the tape, my just regular tape and the silver. And I'm going to cut this like so. So this is the 1 8 silver ribbon, if I didn't already say that. I love it, I use it all the time. Okay, and now I'm going to put this around here. Now I made 22 of these yesterday for a swap in like two and a half hours. I was like going so fast, but I did it and I finished and I'm so happy because I love the way they turned out. It was for my team. So every month my Stampin' Up! Downline, my team, we do a swap. And this month we only had two groups of 22. Last month we had like 68 people sign up on my team. Um, so I participate. I try to participate every month if I can. I like to be able to use my stuff and, and get swap backs and get, get different ideas back. Okay. So now the last thing I'm doing is dimensionals. I'm just gonna use two, just right on top of the other. And I'm going to put this on top. And now I have a quick and simple, look at that guys, beautiful Christmas card. So if you sign up for my class, now you have another idea with the stamp set and everything that comes with the class. So. These are the ones I've already made. So I already have four ready for Christmas. Look at that. So these are really pretty. Your family will love them and friends, I promise. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can also check out mypinkstamper.com for more inspiration and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.